Okay, so I got my subwoofers that I'm trying to get dialed in. And I was uh, doing sweeps to see how far they can go. And I started experiencing some compression up towards the higher end range. So I'm going to see if I can figure out what was going on with that. Basically starting at negative 18 dB full scale and going up, I started getting a lot of compression towards the uh, 40 hertz and up range. Whereas it wasn't until I got to about negative 12 dB full scale that I got compression way down in the subterranean 10 to 20 hertz range. So I found I have a limiter set in my amplifier. So I'm going to see if that's what's possibly holding me back. This will be negative 24 dB full scale. We're going to watch the output there of the amplifier. Negative 11, actually negative 21. I just hit the limiter there. Okay. I can see that there. So let me try bumping up my limiter a little bit. Actually, let's just remove that completely there. We'll try again. Yeah, let's see how that looks. Okay, so there's the green line was the one I just did by removing the limiter, and then there's also the red line, so I did get a little bit more. So we will continue here. All right, so this should be negative 18. Turn it up again. And this blue line was my last run. Doesn't look like it compressed on that one, so I shouldn't theoretically be stressing anything. <laughs> and I hit the limit. And something beeped. <laughs> Wonder what that was. So let's see here, and yep, there's the uh, compression kicking in there. So I'm getting up to about, oh shoot, that's way over at 100 hertz though. And I normally have this set to uh, have my speakers crossed over at uh, 80 to 90. So let me just do a sweep up to, we'll say 80 hertz. So we'll go 3 dB more, see if we can hit that 115 dBs. We'll go up to 80 hertz. Looks like I just hit 115, but I think my, uh, Ups isn't too happy with me uh, doing that right now. But oh yeah, even over at 60 hertz there, yeah, I got a serious amount of limiting there. So I'm able to just barely touch 115 dB at 20 hertz. All right, it's, let's see, what does it say it actually is? About 114.4. So it's interesting, at the lower range I can hit it, where you'd think it would require more power, but at the higher range, I'm not hitting it. Huh. So it looks like I am amplifier limited in terms of my ability to hit 115 dB peaks. Here's what the speakers look like from here. How to repair a Behringer iNuke 3000 DSP amplifier. So, let's see what I got in here. 
The fuse is not good. 